Hey, welcome in, guys. It's Ryan Lipsy today with Haley Collier. What's, What's up, up, Haley? Hey! We are with Mindset Mission Media, and we're talking about phone work, some of our favorite stuff we do, the categories of calls, how to clump them in, and how to really, really move the needle on the phone. Exactly. And, you know, just a little backstory so you guys know we're not crazy about the phone. Before I joined Ryan's team, 2008, I know he probably doesn't want to talk about this time. He's still like recovering. <laughs> but he made over 100 calls a day in different verticals and commercial, different kinds of stuff, which really helped kind of supplement some title income that wasn't necessarily there. Yeah. And so the first day I started working with Ryan, I was very new to sales. He handed me a list of agents and a script and said, hey, we make 25 to 40 calls a day. Get on it. Here you go. And I was like, oh. Okay, this is what we do. This is what and, we do. And you know, so it was a good habit that he instilled in me as a newer salesperson and even as a veteran salesperson to kind of go back to those good habits, but he really instilled those into me in the beginning. So we know how important phone calls are. And every time we start making phone calls when we have a moment and we get that going and we get that momentum, we get meetings, we get new oh. orders, we got people saying, oh, I got three coming up, opening them up, and then we look at each other and we're like, Whoa! Why don't we just make calls every all, day? All the time, <laughs> don't make appointments. We're not making the appointments, we're just doing Zooms only and just making calls. I know, it just really is a needle mover, it's a way to put your business on the fast track, and we talk about mindset and mission, but it's nothing without the media, and the media is just the different conduits and mediums we use to get our message to our audience. And mm -hmm. the phone is the fast track freeway, the I-5, if you will, of getting our solution into our the hands of our clients. So, But we want to get granular on the tactics and actually the categories. Yes. So we always start with warm calls, you mm -hmm. know, like openings, new openings. Call your new openings from the day before. Yep. Call your new openings from the week. Call your closings, like right when they close, you know, yes. preferably, right? Yeah, call your closings, but call them even from the, or like go back a week and see what closings you had because Sometimes those people don't necessarily have orders going right there, but it's a good way just to remain top of mind. So that's something we'll do too to mix up the categories. Go to your saved close folder and scroll down and see somebody yeah. that maybe you haven't closed with in a while or haven't talked to and you're like, oh man, we closed this one three months ago and I haven't talked to them, but that's still a warm call because there was the relationship. Absolutely, so, like the buyer's been in for three months. Hey, have you checked in with your buyer? Maybe they need some a, a handyman. Maybe they're thinking about new flooring. Mm -hmm. um, to, to call your agents and nudge them on the calls they can make. So we call our openings, we call our closings. Non-directing clients is a big one mm -hmm. for us. It's uh, the agents on the other side of the our, our agents' transactions. And we call them just to make sure we did a good job, if there's any follow-up we can do on it, if there's you know any new projects on the horizon that we can work on. So we have relevant things mm -hmm. to talk about with new relationships. Yeah, those NDCs, those non-directing client calls are where we get a lot of pull through because we've had that relationship built. They've been able to see how we work. We put them in the CRM as soon as we get that open order. So they're getting dripped on us the entire transaction. So they're like, wow, you guys were on it this entire time. And it's way easier to get that appointment set versus calling somebody off the open source active listings when they just post a new listing. When everybody's and calling. everybody's calling and texting them. So this is a really good pull through ratio where you're able to really be invested with that relationship. And even when you see them cancel when they're a buyer's agent and they cancel out, I like to call them too and say, hey, you know, I'm so sorry that fell through. Good luck on the next one. We're here if you guys need anything, any help. I know you'll get those buyers into a next home, but if there was anything we can do over here, let us know we're here to help. And yeah. they just so appreciate that call. It's another touch. It's another potential relationship. And it's a category of calls you could be making. You can go through your networking events. We are big fans of leveraged events where you go to happy hours, you go to educational, motivational, inspirational mm -hmm. events. You meet people, you walk with three, four, five cards, and it makes you be more intentional about walking with three, four, five mm -hmm. new contacts. Call those guys. They do nothing for you if you don't follow up with them. And those are calls that are a little colder, mm -hmm. but you're warming up by following up. They saw you, there was some kind of a connection. You call them, set up a coffee, set up an appointment, and begin that relationship. It's a relationship business, but it all starts with a cold, you know, funnel. Mm -hmm. assist you. And then the follow-up situation is usually done on the phone and then in person. So you got your openings, you got your closings, you got your other siders or non-directing clients, mm -hmm. you got your network follow-up. 
what else do we do? We go into the CRM? So, yeah, or? if you guys have an active CRM, which that's definitely something we'll recommend, and that will be part of this coaching system as well. But go into your CRM, it will tell you what drips people are on, what emails people have opened, what when you should be calling. So that is just another source. You should be getting an email every day from either your lion desk or whatever CRM Salesforce that you're using to tell you who you need to be following up with that day. Yeah. Whatever apps you have people on. I know for like a lot of our agents, we have certain apps, our NetSheet app that they can be on, and it will notify us if they're running a NetSheet or doing something. That's kind of a hot lead right there. It's a you, great time a, to call right That's a great right there. time to call. They don't need to know that you just saw them getting the net sheet. But even if you mention it, hey, I just got noti- I got a notification you're running the net sheet. Is this for an upcoming listing? Do I need to get title pulled? Any data in the area? How can I help? So that's a great warm source. I mean, it's a really good to. point because like, it's, it's maybe not the warmest relationship or current client, but I get notifications from Lion Desk that somebody clicked on an email that went out with a checklist mm-hmm. or with a flyer about the Tycor Agent One app that does net sheets or something that they saw. I can call on the heels of them seeing that through the CRM. And I mean, when all else fails, I go to the CRM or I go to my Instagram mm-hmm. and my Facebook and see who's engaged on our videos, mm-hmm. who's engaged on my posts and just call through those. The idea is to, look, it's a contact sport. You're gonna have so many people that you reach out to, so many people you connect with, and then some percentage of that that you'll actually turn into clients. Mm -hmm. So with the NDCs, it's a really high pull-through ratio. With the social media, not as much, but it funnels it down into a relationship eventually. So Mm -hmm. we just wanna give you ideas and concepts on categories of where to spend time on the phone. You know, the warmest is ongoing deals, closed deals, and then the other side of those deals. And then all the networking we do, all the different educational events that we go to, take those and percolate those down into actual relationships Mm -hmm. via the phone. Yeah, exactly. And we know how much the phone moves the needle. Getting those direct messages actually on the phone, as I like to say, taking it out of the digital world. So those are different warmer categories to call on when we're frozen and we're like, man, who do we call? I feel like, you know, making these open source calls, these new listing calls every single day, I'm just kind of beating my head, getting told I'm the fifth person, 10th person to call them on this listing. So we want to make it a little easier and gamify it, make it set numbers in each category of how many you're going to call. Absolutely. And then next thing you know, you've hit your 40, 50 calls and you've booked three appointments and then you're like, whoo, let's yeah. do that again. Absolutely. So come up with your categories. If it's five categories and five calls per category, that's 25 calls. Mm-hmm. If you do that every day, you're going to be busting at the seams with opportunity, relationships, business, and then revenue, which is the goal is to drive revenue. So that's That's a little slice on how we use the phone and how we really help you guys to to target and categorize what calls you'll be making. And we'll see you next time for Mindset Mission Media. I'm Ryan. And I'm Haley. Until next time. Bye. Bye.